This is problem 10. It says, a dart is thrown horizontally towards X at 20 meters as shown. It hits Y 0.1 seconds later. The distance XY is, and has a drawing to go along with it, where you have a dart board and you're aiming for the middle but it hits at point Y this is point X and this is point Y and it actually hits at point Y so you're looking for X Y is equal to what? always write out what you're looking for always write out the givens as well we're given that a dart is thrown horizontally. The velocity here is 20 meters per second. And the time that it takes to, to hit point Y is equal to 0 0.1 seconds. All right? So we're given this, and we're given this. We have enough to figure out what this is by by using kinematics. All right. So in the vertical component of this, this is a projectile. You have vertical and horizontal components. We're looking for the vertical distance, so might as well look at the vertical components. You have the time is equal to 0 0.1 seconds. We know that gravity in vertical components, since we're on the Earth, is always going to be is always going to be g, which is 9.8 meters per second, or 10, or which is equal to about 10. And then we have V0, the starting velocity. If it's only going horizontally at the start, that means vertically it has no velocity at the start. So we're looking for D. We're looking for D. What is that? So that means we have four out of the five components of kinematics, so the one that's missing is V. We don't care about this. We don't care about this. So that means we go over to the handy dandy chart of our, of our kinematic equations, where it goes X, and then the equation is given, where it goes A, D, V, V naught, and T, the one where what is not included in the equation, we look at the one that, uh, that doesn't have V. So this one, the one that doesn't have the final velocity. And that is D is equal to V naught T plus one half A T squared. All right? So there's no V in there at all. So we just go ahead and plug in what we know. V naught is zero, so this goes away. Um, D, we're looking for, so we do D is equal to one half 10, about 10, times t, 0 0.1, squared. That's the equation I use. And it turns out that you end up finding that d is equal to about 0 0.05 meters. That's your answer.